Hey guys, um, so I wanted to talk to you about the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation. I recently found this. I was very excited to try it when I saw it because I have fallen in mad love with this product which is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. And I'm not a big fan of concealers whatsoever. Um, I never can stick with one very long. I've been using this consistently daily since I got it and that's just amazing. So yeah, I was very excited to try this. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. There's no mirror, there is a puff, and then you twist it right here, and there you have your product. Now I use my stippling brush, so that's why it looks like that. Um, this particular color is in Classic Ivory, and it is .49 ounces. Um, it's $7, and I honestly think it's an amazing buy. Um, it is just so easy to apply. It says that it's an ultra hydrating cream whipped foundation. Um, and it applies just like that. I mean, it's so easy to blend. It does not streak, which you would think that it might, being that it's um, you know a cheaper drugstore um, creamy whip texture, does not does not streak whatsoever. It's super easy to build upon. Um, I always apply a little bit extra to my cheeks and chin area, and you can just keep blending and building, and it's flawless. This the finish is just stunning. It really is. I was really shocked. Um, I didn't want to fall into love with it right away, um, although looking at the results it was hard not to, but my concern was how it was going to last throughout the day, being that I'm in Texas and it's really, really hot. I'm outside with the kids, we're at the pool, I'm sweating, so I wasn't, yeah, I, was, I wasn't too hopeful, but it honestly it did an awesome job. So yeah, I've been using it um, off and on for the week and I'm um, wearing it today. And I honestly can't say enough good things about it. I think it's beautiful, and I highly recommend it. So definitely give it a try. Um, tell me what you guys think as well. And I'm going to show you now what's on my face. One important thing I forgot to note was that um, it does not have an SPF. So, yeah, that's the only downfall. So just be sure that you wear one underneath your foundation, and um, you'll be good. So, okay, on to the face stuff now. Okay, so like I mentioned already, the foundation I'm using is this one. And I set it lightly with um, Max Mineralize Skin Finish and Natural. I should probably be moving up um, a little bit in that, being that it's summer. Um, but that's okay because I have this, which is Rimmel's Natural Bronzer. This is a great bronzer if you are somebody who um, is lighter in skin tone and is just kind of skeptical of bronzers, um, like I was last year. Last year was my first time getting into them. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great first bronzer. It's very subtle and it's really beautiful. Um, this one is in sunlight. And the blush that I have on today is from Hard Candy. This packaging is just too cute. I love it. This is in Living Doll and it is a beautiful, beautiful color. There's gold veining running through that. Can you see that? super pretty color. So let's see, my lips today, I just have on this lip liner. This is from Prestige. This is a great lip liner. It's waterproof, it's super creamy, and it lasts. And this color is in Diva. You can get this at Ulta. That's where I picked mine up. And no lipstick today, I just have on this gloss, and it's from Physician's Formula in the color Pink Rose Potion. And this happens to be really sticky. If you do not like sticky glosses, do not get this. Sticky is my absolute favorite, so I love it. And this is stickier than Max Dazzle Gloss, just to give you an idea. And it's awesome. Love. Um, okay, that's the lips. Um, the eyes, I have on Max Bare Study Paint Pot all over the lid up to the brow. And then... This is my inner highlight, this one here. This is Anastasia Brow Kit, inner highlight under the brow. That's my brow color again today. This color is on my lid. It is Jessie's Girl um, in Skywalker. This is a baked eyeshadow. I believe you can get this at Rite Aid. We don't have Rite Aids here. Sorry, so um, Gina picked this up for me. I want some more because they're awesome. How pretty. It's just, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm just going to show it up here. See it? So pretty. 
So yeah, on the lid, um, a little bit up into the crease as well. And then to define my crease, I used this, this trio from NYX. I used this, this color right here, the burgundy one. And this trio is called Lake Moss. These are beautiful colors. I just did an NYX video the other day, so if you want to know where to get those, you can watch that one. So yeah, into the crease, um, and yeah, just a little bit, I think halfway, blended that through. Eyeliner I used was um, Urban Decay's 24-7 in Bourbon, which is just a beautiful coppery brown color. I blended that in really well. Waterline, I used um, Wet n Wild's Black Gel Liner. And then I used this, which is Lid Splash. I think you can get this at Ulta. This is just a glitter stick. Looks like this. That's a brush applicator. And it's right by the bourbon. And what I did with this was I just applied inner tear duct area a fourth of the way up on both sides and same thing right under. Just a little bit right under that inner tear duct area just for a little bit of sparkle. And my mascara is Lash Blast from CoverGirl. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I hope you guys found this helpful and I will talk to you very soon. Bye guys.